Ireland's connections uh, to the US are well known uh, in, in many dimensions. There are 600 companies employing 100,000 people who are, are US owned. There was a time perhaps when, when universities operated behind their state borders and there wasn't much student mobility and a little bit of faculty mobility. Now there's very significant student mobility. Higher education has become a borderless activity, really. 20 years ago, people went to college because it was the right thing to do. Uh, today, there's all this analysis about what are the universities doing to um, foster economic development, to create new businesses, to develop new technologies. Uh, and those expectations have changed and morphed over the years. I would say we're learning. We learn from our alumni. We learn from the business community about what do they need. We try to respond. No one institution can do everything. But we try to operate from our base, strong undergraduate liberal arts and then selected graduate and professional programs. And I think that's important for all institutions to listen to the surrounding community and ask, what can we as this particular institution do? And what we try to do is create a, a structure, an infrastructure that allows our students, our faculty and staff that have ideas for new businesses to take those ideas uh, and create a product and then take those products and create a business. Parents want to have the value of their educational investment and their children pay off. They want them to have jobs, they want to have them with quality lives. But I think you've got to look at the larger picture and think about Trinity here 400 years plus. It stood the test. How can you be a 425 year old startup? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we, we can. And we've got to continuously, as a university leadership, get that startup uh, feeling about many new initiatives. Those of us who believe in the importance of free trade, of free international collaboration, of sharing insight in education and innovation, we need to stand up for the sort of world we want to create at a time when there are you know, clearly political forces in many European countries and indeed in the US who are seeking to take us back on a journey in a, a very different uh, direction. Yeah.